fly it. So I was given this plane about 15 years ago by my grandfather when I didn't know what it was but all I could tell was that it was in pretty poor condition. So I put it in a box and stored it. Now some 15 years later I think it's about time I breathe some new life into it. So what exactly is it? Well it's a Philister rebate plane. There's a, a knicker here for when we're doing Philistering work, cross grain. And there's a fence on the bottom which is adjustable for the width of the rebate. A depth stop to adjust the depth of the rebate. You'll also notice that the mouth is skewed. So that should make it a little bit easier to use on more difficult timbers. The iron is wedged in. And it's about an inch and a quarter wide. So what have I got to do to this plane to get it working again? Well obviously it needs a good clean up all over. I need to check for square and true all round. The main problem though is this area here which is known as the boxing. Uh, usually it's made of boxwood, this one is, um, but it's failed. It's all in little pieces with lots of cracks in it. Uh, some of it's even missing. So I'm going to have to replace that. And you can see at the same time as that's been breaking down, so has the uh, little skirt on the edge where the boxing is held in. I'm not an aficionado on wooden planes, but in case there's anyone out there who is, uh, this plane is stamped with the name R. Routledge, 6 Bull Street, Birmingham. So if you know anything about that, please let me know. I'd like to start the process by giving the plane a bit of a wipe down with a mixture of methylated spirits and white spirits. This helps get rid of some of the grime and any uh, grease that might be on the surface. And you can see there's a fair bit of dirt on there. Now I'm using a scraper to clean out all the glue from the slot where the boxing goes. Now I need to measure for the width of the boxing and that's just under an inch and the thickness is 730 seconds which is just over 5 mil. I don't have any box but this apple that I seasoned myself should do fine. It's uh, quite hard, very dense it is a little brittle, uh, like the box I guess, but uh, it should work for this application. My Japanese planing board is ideal for small components like this. And that's perfect. Now I can mark the mouth opening and the escapement and the bed angle on the other piece. The skew angle of the bed and then I can shoot the ends of those two bits of boxing to fit the mouth.
lifting the rear end up on a little block allows me to get the right angle when I'm shooting the um, compound angle down the bottom here. Now I can glue them in and I'll use liquid height glue 